Now to Boomtown, our coverage of the rapid growth happening all across Central Texas. And for the first time in years, it looks like Austin's downtown construction boom is slowing down. KVU's Matt Fernandez shows us what's in store this year and why some of the newest offices are still empty. Austin is home to the Frost Bank and the state capitol. These iconic buildings have seen many new neighbors downtown, including skyscrapers going up, especially over the last few years. Nick Ortiz, who's lived in Austin for more than a decade, has noticed the skyline change. Uh, certainly busier. Yeah, it's a lot different. Uh, I mean, whether it's just like the independent building or, you know, the new Google building, Facebook, etc. Well, 17 projects are currently under construction. The majority residential, downtown Austin Alliance CEO, Dewitt Peer says the city is starting to move in a different direction with development. Definitely seeing a slowdown. Ten years of really very hot growth and, you know, at some point things have to slow down, right? And that's where we are right now. Of the buildings downtown, Peart says 50% of them are made up of office space. He says that makes up 24 million square feet. About 75% is occupied says a good number should be around 90%. It's a lot to do with hybrid work, and we are uh, nationally going through a transformation in the way people work. The DAA says that the new 6th and Guadalupe Tower, the entire office section of the building, about 600,000 square feet, was pre-leased to Meta, but the company decided to sublease the space instead. The DAA says Austin's office market is going through what they call a recession stage, where there's more space than tenant demand. But Peart does expect things to pick up in the future. When it comes to housing downtown, there are currently 10,000 residential units with an additional 3,000 on the way. Peart says there's a big demand to live downtown. Yeah, people um, still want to be in a place that's active and vibrant. All changes we're seeing in a boomtown of downtown Austin. Matt Fernandez, KV News.